Are you ready to learn more about how you can build awesome dynamic pages to delight your users? My name is Leanne Rimel and this is Expert Corner, where I sit down with Salesforce product experts to learn more about the features that matter to you, Salesforce admins. Today, I'm sitting down with Nate Hosner, senior product manager who's looking after related lists and list views. And I'm really excited to learn more about how you can build amazing dynamic pages. Before we get started, I'd like to share our forward-looking statement. Please make all purchasing decisions based on currently available technologies. Let's go meet Nate. Hi, Nate. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, Leanne. Thanks for having me. So we're really excited to have you on to share some exciting new updates about how admins are building pages, but we might have admins that are tuning in right now who haven't met you yet. So I want to make sure we get started with some introductions. Um, Nate, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what brought you to Salesforce? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, and thanks for this opportunity. I've been at Salesforce um, since the fall of 21. So I'm pretty new to Salesforce. I've really enjoyed the people I've met, the things I've learned, um, et cetera. Um, my previous job was at Oracle. So while I'm new to Salesforce, I am not new to um, particularly service clouds. We worked a lot on service cloud at Oracle and low code builders. And I did a lot of outreach and um, collaboration with administrators. So I feel like I've I'm bringing that mindset and that experience to uh, to Salesforce. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited to have you here. And I know you're also a fellow Montanan like me. Um, so we're actually recording this remotely from two different parts of Montana. Um, so you're at Salesforce. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're looking after in product at Salesforce. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We are neighbors, Montana neighbors. So I'm based in Bozeman, Montana, permanent um, remote employee, which is great. I get the best of both worlds. I get to live in Montana with my my kids and my dogs and do all the Montana things. And then I get to go to San Francisco uh, to go to the big city and, and do Salesforce things. So it's great. Yeah. And we're neighbors in some sense. So yeah, at Salesforce, I'm looking after um, list views and related lists, which I'm really excited about because they're two highly used features and we have a huge list of enhancements to make based on demand from our customers and from our um, from our partners and even from other product groups uh, at Salesforce. So that's my uh, scope. Well, I know as an admin myself, I spent a lot of time in list views and related lists, and it's a really important part of how we're surfacing information to our users. And um, I know you've got some new release items specifically uh, to share with admins. What are, you know, what's your most recent release with related lists and what should admins be looking for? Yeah, so we're really excited about this. Um, for the summer uh, 22 um, release of Salesforce, we're coming out with a new Lightning App Builder component called Dynamic Related Lists. And this is something that our admins have been asking for for a long, long time. Uh, the idea exchange post for this has got uh, more than 40,000 upvotes over the years um, and a lot of compelling use cases, et cetera. Um, it is challenging to implement a feature like this that is nested so deeply down in um, Salesforce um, uh, architecture, but also nested down in the experience of our users, right? We want to make sure that um, that we're releasing something that's high quality and isn't going to interrupt, you know, the experience of our of our administrators or our users. But um, the, um, the great thing about dynamic related lists is um, two things. One, it allows the administrators to filter um, the related lists in the Lightning App Builder so that they're not showing their users data that, you know, isn't helpful. And also, all of the configuration for dynamic related lists is now right in the Lightning App Builder. So in your properties panel, you can pick your columns, your actions, your filters, et cetera, without returning to page layout editor. So that's a nice bonus for our administrators. That's a really big deal. So to just to reiterate, so if we want to adjust the field level data, the columns that is exposed in a related list on a record page. We don't need to go to page layout editor anymore. Correct. Yeah. And so there's two ways to do this. If you're using a related list component today, the related list single, you'll see in the summer um, 22 release a button to upgrade. 
And so you can upgrade that to the dynamic related list. And what's ha happening behind the scenes is we're looking at the page layout editor's definition for this related list, and we're pulling it, so to speak, out of page layout editor and surfacing it in the Lightning App Builder. So you, you've got a great starting place, right? We're pulling your column configuration out of page layout editor and putting it into Lightning App Builder. So you can um, start with what you have already, right? The columns that you've picked, the sort order that you picked, the orders of the columns themselves, et cetera. Same with actions. Um, and then from there, you can manipulate if you want to. And this is really continuing this larger shift towards both bringing everything into App Builder when it comes to that page design experience for admins. So how admins are, are surfacing page information, record information um, to their users, bringing all of that to App Builder. And then the second piece is those pages being a lot more dynamic, right? I mean, this is really continuing that trend of, I know we've been making investments um, and spending a lot of um, energy to make sure that we're continuing to make App Builder more and more dynamic. And, and, and I think for admins, it's really important to kind of take a beat and look at how that signals this shift away from how a lot of us admins, as old timer admins used to design pages, which was a different page for different needs, maybe different pages for different types of users, different pages for different business units. We were using a lot of record types and, and page assignments. But now this is like even more in that shift towards fewer pages. Yeah, yeah. Each page does more. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. So a couple of things you hit on. One, um, yeah, this is a nice step forward in our low code, low code builder strategy, right? So we're pulling something out of page layout editor and putting it in the builder. It's a nicer experience for our admins. It's declarative and it's visually compelling. Um, and also you hit on hit on um, the term dynamic, right? So if you're following Salesforce, you probably now you're hearing about dynamic related lists, but we also have dynamic actions and dynamic forms. And the concept there is, um, yeah, use a single page, but react to the user, what the user wants and surface the information uh, on that single page for the user based on that person's inputs. So really the theme here in terms of page design is like, let's get contextual information in front of our users that's actionable and useful rather than like, quote, throwing the book at them, right? With big fat um, pages or elaborate configuration, let's use some of these dynamic new features to surface right information, right time. Could we, I know this is an exciting new feature and you know, if admins haven't had a chance yet to get hands on with this, could you show us a little bit of what this looks like and, and how admins might be engaging with this as they're building pages? Yeah, sure. I'd be happy to. Let me pull this up. Yeah, so here's a demo of dynamic related lists that I was sharing with our customers at TDX a couple of weeks ago. Um, so what we have here is a very simple illustration of um, an account record home with a list of opportunities. And with the current um, opportunities component for Lightning App Builder, you don't have any filterability capability, right? So this is just all of the opportunities that relate to this account. Um, but let's say you've got a case here where your sales team only wants to see the high dollar opportunities. Maybe they just wanna see things that are over $2,000, um, right? So we can filter the list based on that criteria using this new component. So let me pull, this page into Lightning App Builder and show you how this works. Okay, so here's my existing component, the related list single um, that shows all the opportunities, but here's this upgrade button that I mentioned. So we can upgrade this to a dynamic related list single. And you can see the, um, the preview has changed and the name of this uh, component has changed. Um, now I've got an opportunity to change the label and uh, this is another feature that is new for our users. So we're gonna call this opportunities over $2,000. And um, here's your ability to say reorder fields or add fields. And this um, supports type ahead. So you could um, look at like next step or owner first name simply by typing ahead. We'll just leave this as it is for now. Um, and then you can also define your sort field. So maybe we wanna um, sort this on uh, amount, 
descending so that we've got the um, largest opportunities at the top of the list. And then here's the key part, related list filters. So now you can filter on um, any of the fields in your list. So in this case, we're gonna filter on amount and say amount greater than 2000. Done. And the only out of the box action for um, opportunities is new. So that's what you see here, but you do have the ability to add actions and set component uh, visibility here. So you can see my preview is updated with the, uh, the new title. Um, and my column configuration and filters are represented here as well. And Leanne, I just want to show one other um, angle on this, which is um, the new component itself, the dynamic related list single. So you can pull this on the canvas directly from the component palette and configure, uh, configure this here from scratch. Um, so just um, to show this from a different perspective, I'm going to say, hey, let's still keep track of these opportunities that are under 2K. Um, so I'll filter this list quickly on, on that value just to demonstrate. So we're going to say um, this is amount less than 2,000. And we'll add our action here, and then we'll go back to runtime and see what we did. Yeah, so perfect. So here I've got my um, related list and now it's filtered on all the large opportunities, those over $2,000. I've got my um, descending amounts, that was my sort order that I set on. And then I've got my um, second dynamic related list, opportunities under $2,000. Maybe you hide this behind a tab, maybe you don't need this, but what I wanted to demonstrate here was not only can you filter and not only can you configure everything in the Lightning App Builder, but you can also have two related lists for the same object on the same record page. And that's not something that was possible before now. And one thing I want to call out is you, you know, mentioned when you were in your page editor, the visibility rules as well. So you can also get creative as admins, right? We can get creative now too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And something to add on there, just thinking about um, getting creative Again, this is a very simple example. So I just did one filter, but we support up to 10 filters. So, so if you wanted to say, show me the opportunities whose close date is in the next quarter, whose amount is over $2,000 that are in the negotiation phase, right? You could add those three filters and really give your users a very refined look at um, the, the opportunities that are in front of them. Again, it's all about giving your users information that's uh, contextual and actionable. This is really powerful. I'm excited to see what admins admins do with this. I know you mentioned the idea exchange and how this was a very popular idea on the idea exchange. Admins, if you haven't visited the idea exchange yet, it'll be in the show notes. Please visit the idea exchange. It's a really important place to, to share your feedback and to vote for ideas that are important to you. But I'm interested to hear also, like, how do you see... Um, this kind of continuing to grow or like, what do you see on the roadmap for admins as they're starting to now make their plans for how to build pages in the next three, six, nine months? Like what should be on their yeah. radar? What's on the, your roadmap? Yeah, I guess I'll start first by talking about this particular component, right? We wanted to get this out in the marketplace to our customers and get some feedback. But in order to do that, we couldn't um, satisfy every single feature request. So um, we had to mark some things out of scope for this initial release, and we hope to circle back and pursue those for this um, um, dynamic related list roadmap. So specifically, there's a few things in here. One is the ability to, to view all. So right now we've got a record um, limit of 30, but that's the point of the filters, right? Again, filter down your results so you're showing your users something that's actionable and lightweight and contextual. But we would like to support that um, that view all capability at some point in the future. Um, also, mobile support I think is going to be a big ask from our customers once they um, start using this particular component on the desktop. So those are um, two things that we would like to do with dynamic related lists that we hope to complete uh, in the near future. That's really exciting, um, and I think I know our admins will be excited to get hands on with it. What other, you know, things do you want to share around maybe like main use cases? I know you shared some really great use cases with having two different components of the same record type and some of those specific types of filters. Is there anything else that maybe admins should be thinking about as far as primary use cases or things that you saw come up quite a bit as you all were working on this product? 
Yeah, you know, it's funny. I went through the idea exchange again. It's an old idea. It has a lot of votes and a lot of comments. It, one of the simplest um, use cases that was mentioned many, many times was just the ability to filter out inactive contacts in a related contacts list for an account. That's a real simple win. That might actually for our admins be a great starting place. Like here's a quick configuration. It's going to help the users and give me as an admin a chance to test out this new component and see how I like it. So that sounds simple. It is simple, but it's a great way to kind of put your toes in the water with respect to this, um, this component. Okay. So we saw a dynamic related lists and we've talked quite a bit about how admins are going to continue to get these tools to build these really dynamic smart pages. But I know you've been working on list views as well. Um, are there any updates or insights you can share with us about list views for our admin audience? Yeah, great, great question. List views. Um, someone said at um, at uh, TDX a couple of weeks ago, list views need some love, and that's true. We have a huge amount of um, uh, really compelling ideas for list view enhancements, and we've built a vision for list views that we're going to be executing on. Um, over the course of the next year or two. Um, as you know, Salesforce has been working really hard to move off of the old Aura uh, component framework and onto the new Lightning component framework. So that is the first step for us. And once we get over that hump, we're going to be able to realize our vision, which will manifest as like really compelling features for our users. So these are things like the ability to get um, row counts easily or sum an integer field or do multi-column sort or row grouping and column grouping or easier collaboration on list views. There's a lot of great ideas out there and we've um, created a really compelling roadmap for that. It is a long-term vision, but it is something that, that, um, that we're working on. That's really exciting to hear because I, I love lightning list views. Um, I definitely use list views quite a bit, but I do know that there's, you know, areas that we could get some additional power out of list views, right. And make them a really yeah. actionable area for Salesforce admins and for our users. Um, so that's really exciting to hear. Is there, are there ideas on the idea exchange or are there specific, um, kind of milestones coming up that admins should be looking for um, or, or ideas that maybe they should go visit and vote for? Yeah, I, I again, would visit at the idea exchange and vote for the ideas that you think are compelling. And if, if you don't find your idea, then create a new one. Because mm -hmm. as we progress down this list vision, we're going to be using the idea exchange as one of our sources of inspiration. So ideas that are there and highly ranked um, have got a great shot at making it into the product. And yes, we're starting to think of list views more of like, how do you manage collections of data, not just how do you dis display a grid of, of information? So how can you um, manipulate data to make it actionable for your users, to make it intuitive for your users? And how can we transform list views into a place where users go every day to get their work done? A lot of people already use it that way. But if we can get some of these features into the product, it, it'll just accelerate um, the capabilities. Well, that's really exciting. As someone who at some point in time in my career, I have pulled data into like a Quip spreadsheet or Google Sheets spreadsheet in order to, to do, you know, data manipulation and things like that with, with Salesforce records. I love the idea of staying in Salesforce, keeping that data in Salesforce and working with it within list views. Um, I think that that's something Absolutely. a lot of our admins will be really excited to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly it. Thank you so much for delivering dynamic related lists. I think this is going to be so meaningful for our admins. It's so powerful to be able to filter on the pages like this. And I mean, I think admins can get really creative with building these very, very dynamic pages. So I'm really excited to see what they build. And thank you so much for joining us today, Nate. Yeah, thanks, Leanne. That was awesome. I can't wait to see all the creative and dynamic pages you all make for your users using dynamic related lists. Thank you so much for joining today on Expert Corner. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a video like this and visit admin.salesforce.com to learn more about how you can build awesome apps and pages for your users. That's all for today and I will see you next time.